How to improve your YouTube videos with a do-it-yourself lighting kit that won't break the bank, coming up next. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to this brand new channel. Um, I hope that you caught the intro channel from last week and thanks to all of those that subscribed. Uh, today we're looking at a do-it-yourself lighting kit that's very easy to set up and also is budget friendly. It will not break the bank. And I'm going to go ahead and get into some of the items that you're going to need to pick up to complete this build. Uh, keep in mind that the setup that I'm using here is a three-point lighting system. So everything that I go over, you're going to need to pick up three of uh, to complete this full build. One of the first things that um, I'm going to go over is also one of the cheapest and that is these little binder clips. Now you can pick these up at Staples. Um, they're, you know, you can get like a 30 pack of them for $6.99. I think you can pick up a 60 pack for $10.99. If you have some laying around the house, even better. Uh, you don't have to go out and pick them up, uh, but that's probably one of the cheapest items for this build, besides maybe a t-shirt. Um, now I used an old white t-shirt that I had, preferably find one that does not have stains or a big graphic on it and that's very important because we're going to be using this t-shirt as a diffuser for our lights and if it's got a stain or if it's got that graphic that's going to show up um, as a shadow in your lighting setup so you want to make sure that it's you know relatively clean it can still be an old you know white t-shirt uh, but just keep that in mind when you grab that you're also going to need to pick up uh, these photo lights from IKEA um, now, they do not make this 10-inch light anymore. Uh, the only lights they make are 15-inch. Um, so the 15-inch lights are $24.99. Uh, you can pick those up at Ikea, either online or in-store. Uh, this is a 10-inch one that I bought a few years ago. These are the only thing in this build that you actually really have to assemble. Uh, this dome part comes separate from the base, and there's a little collar just on the inside that you screw down, and you're ready, you're set uh, to go. Really nice thing about these is they're brushed aluminum, they're super light, uh, they've already got a nice finish, a white finish on the inside, they reflect very nicely, and they do work with LED bulbs, so great start. They're also plug and play. Uh, this cord here, they'll plug you know, right into any regular outlet. Um, if the outlet doesn't have an on off switch, then you know the light's on when it's plugged in, you pull it out, it goes off. Uh, you're not really gonna have to worry about that because we're gonna be plugging this directly into the dimmer switch that we're gonna be uh, using for this project, and that will allow you full control over that light. So speaking of dimmer switches, um, I picked up these dimmer switches at uh, Home Depot. They're $17.99, and they're LED compatible dimmer, dimmer switches. So make sure when you pick these up, there are a number of different ones at Home Depot that you can get or at Lowe's or wherever you might you know go to find these. Um, but make sure that they are LED compatible. If they are not LED compatible, they will not work with your lights. Um, so make sure that they're LED compatible dimmer switches. Um, that brings me to the light bulbs. Now I'm using all of the LED bulbs that I purchased, but I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what that bulb is and some of the things to look for when you're purchasing your light bulbs. So like I said, they're LED bulbs, but they are dimmable LEDs. So when you pick these up in the store, make sure that you read the package, make sure that on the package it says dimmable LED. Uh, the ones that I'm using are made by Philips. They come in a three pack. It was like $13.99 for the pack. Um, again, like I said, I'll be linking all of the items that I'm using here in this build in the description so you can check those out. Those are the bulbs that I'm using. They're 60 watt, they're 800 lumen bulbs, and they're rated at 5,000 K or 5,000 Kelvin. Uh, that 5,000 K or 5,000 Kelvin rating is basically the same sort of lighting that you would get on a naturally sunny day, you know, in the afternoon. Um, the nice thing about that rating is I can actually plug that directly into my Canon 70D and it auto adjusts for that lighting. So what you do is you take the photo lamp, you put your LED bulb in it, and then you cut out your t-shirt and I'm just gonna wrap this t-shirt around it for the sake of our illustration. Um, but the ones that I'm using I actually cut out so it's not doubled up. And then you're going to take your binder clip. And the nice thing about these binder clips and this light uh, from Ikea, this photo light, 
is that the rim of the light fits very nicely into those clips or maybe it's the other way around the clips fit very nicely on that rim and you're going to go ahead and clip all the way around to keep this nice and tight and taut uh, so that you don't have any creases or potential shadows showing up across um, your light. Now what I'm going to do is put that away and I'm going to grab my fill light here. And one of the nice things about having this light is, again, this is one of the larger ones or the 15 inch. You can see that I've you know covered this with a t-shirt and then I've got my little binder clips all around the edge, keeping that nice and tight. Um, one of the nice things that doing this does is it softens this light a bit and it also keeps um, from having just that bulb showing up. Uh, so it you know diffuses that light pattern. Um, makes it very easy to use, makes it a lot softer to use. And um, I can control that very easily with my dimmer switch. And, you know, you have to keep in mind the distance. Um, you know, if I get a little bit closer here, my actual key light is going to fill my face a little more. So as I back up, I could, you know, brighten this up just a little bit more. Um, that's something that you're going to have to play around with in the setup, but that's one of the benefits of also having... Uh, all of these things plugged into dimmer switches because you have full control over what you can do with these lights. Uh, so if you've got them back a little farther, you can turn them up. If you get them a little bit closer, you can you know turn them down. You can customize it to the setup that you're using and the positions that you have those lights in. Now, why am I using a three-point lighting setup? Uh, that is something that pretty much every professional uses, whether you're in a studio or even if you're just shooting YouTube videos, um, it's one of the standard, if you will, uh, lighting setups. And it's one of the standards because it allows you to do a lot with only three lights. Now keep in mind this is a budget project. Um, the three lights that I have, everything, you know, lights included, bulbs included, um, you're looking at just under $150 and for that, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that flexibility. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my fill light off, and I'm gonna turn my hair light off. And so this is just my key light. And this key light, you know, I can turn it way up, I can turn it way down, but it allows me to get a different lighting, a different feel for my film, for, what, for whatever I'm filming. Um, you know, it can make it a little more dramatic. Um, if I want to go really dramatic, I can turn my fill light up and I can turn this right down. And now I've got, you know, half of my face cast in a nice shadow. It's a little more of a dramatic feel to the film. If I want to take it a step further, I could join the Witness Protection Agency. And I can just turn up my hair light and then I could do, you know, a voice mask. And... Um, and this lighting setup allows you a lot of um, a lot of flexibility with what you're actually able to accomplish and again this is all done on a budget um, it's all plug-and-play friendly uh, you don't have to worry about rewiring stuff you don't have to worry about um, you know hacking something apart and for $150, it beats a lot of the beginner to light budget deals that I've seen at photo stores or on uh, Amazon.ca. So you're miles ahead. It's also nicer because this isn't really a hack. Um, these lights are meant to do what they're doing. Okay, so the photo lights that you get at Ikea, they're technically hanging lights, but they are lights. Um, it's not like I went out and bought a bunch of light parts at Home Depot and rewired them and you know glued them to a trash can lid and try to use that as um, a lighting setup okay these are actual lights uh, all of the equipment here that I'm using it's built for that purpose um, I'm just twisting it a little bit and using it for film instead of you know hanging it from my studio hey and that concludes this project I really hope that you enjoyed it and if it's something that you do end up building out and you do use in your own setup um, I'd love to hear from you. Go ahead and drop a comment. And if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I highly encourage you to do so. So tune back in this Thursday to check out some more great content. We'll see you then.